Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Rida, and today I'm going to talk about control of saliva. What make salivary secretion occur? What is the stimuli that activate the salivary glands to produce its saliva? The center that controls the salivary secretion in our brain is the salivary nuclei. So, salivary nuclei is the center. There are two reflexes that control our salivary secretion. The first reflex is the conditional reflex. The conditional reflex is something linked to memory so there are many stimuli that activate this reflux for example the visual stimuli the smell the hearing or even thinking about your favorite food activate the conditional reflux so food not in your mouth, no food in your mouth, but you see, smell, hear, or even think about your food. This reflux will be activated. We call it the conditional reflux. Non conditional reflux food in your mouth, food in your mouth non-conditional reflex so this is a difference between the conditional and the non-conditional reflex food in our mouth non-conditional no food in our mouth but we see we smell we hear we think conditional reflex Appetite, temperature and irritant reflux are three additional um, factors that had control or affect the salivary secretion Okay, when you have an appetite for food, you will salivate more than if you don't have an appetite. Temperature, hot, cold, hot, small amount of saliva will be produced, cold, greater amount of saliva will be produced. Okay, let's look at the irritant reflux. What is the irritant reflux? Mm, okay, let's give you an example. After a meal, some people, uh, some of us have something called burn. When you have burn, the acids uh, reflux to the esophagus. Uh, you will feel that terrible feeling and that terrible sensation of burn. S uh, this because of the acids come from your stomach. Okay, so the saliva which is alkaline in constituent will be produced goes all the way down to the esophagus to eliminate and to relieve that sensation of burn okay the control of saliva is purely neural so the autonomic nervous system sympathetic and the parasympathetic that control the salivary secretion what is the difference between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic simple two points one uh, one is that uh, sympathetic produce both of them produce and activate the saliva uh, the salivary gland to produce saliva both of them activators for the salivary glands to produce saliva the difference the sympathetic produce small amount of saliva parasympathetic produce large amount of saliva okay so the amount sympathetic small amount parasympathetic large amount in relation to the sympathetic okay 
the second uh, number two second point the constituent of saliva sympathetic produce mucus saliva so saliva with lots and lots of mucus in it while the parasympathetic produce watery saliva so sympathetic mucus parasympathetic watery sympathetic small amount parasympathetic large amount hopefully uh, that is this is this point is clear for you and if you had questions put it down below I will answer it thanks for watching see you in the next video bye